<laughs> when I come to Turkey, everybody shows me this picture, you know? I like him so much because he's honest. We can save the world. This is the one, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> This is the photo, I think, maybe when I scored the goal against Fenerbahce or Besiktas, because I remember I run in the same way when I scored the both goals. So it's difficult to say which one it is, but I think it might be after scoring against Besiktas. No? Yeah, probably it's Fenerbahce again, yeah. This one is against Besiktas. I, I remember because uh, Emre, I, I remember afterwards, he jumped up on my back. <laughs> so, uh, so this one is when I scored the, the the first goal is such a great feeling to do it in our own stadium with the fans. It was so much people in the, in, in, in the stands and it was unbelievable. And to score and I don't remember when you score a goal like that and you hear the people, it's like the ex explosion of the stadium, you know. And I can't remember what I was thinking there, I was just so happy. <laughs> this one is the 4-4 game against Germany. We were 4-0 uh, down. And then after we, we scored the 4-4 in the last minute of the game. But I always said, if we have five more minutes, we will win this game 5-4. If you go to Sweden and you talk to fans, this is the game they talk about. Because no one will believe that we're going to get a draw. Because after 60 minutes, 65 minutes, people at home in Sweden, they switch off the TV and they went to bed. And when they wake up in the morning, they were like, yeah, <laughs> see, what? 4-4, four, four, what happened, you know? So um, I have so many friends telling me this story. So this is a great moment for Swedish football and also for me. This is away against Fenerbahce. I scored the, I think it could be the 1-1 or the 2-1 goal. Um, the game ended 2-2 and Hakan Baltan, he scored the, the second one for us. And I assist him with the header also. So um, it's always special because you know, the competition between uh, Fenerbahce and Galatas is very big and to score away against um, a team that I respect, um, that meant a lot to me. <laughs> the bleeding, yeah. Um, I think this is a good picture, who I was, you know, when I was playing here. Um, this one is against Fenerbahce also. Yeah, Th this is me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I have a funny story about this because uh, yesterday I meet with the, the guy who took this photo <laughs> and he was showing me, yeah, do you remember this photo? And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah I remember it. The Swedish Viking, yeah. Something really funny uh, and sometimes you have to do funny things, you know. <laughs> this is the other one in the Champions League against Kluge. Uh, one of the defenders, he was heading me. Uh, and I was bleeding a lot and this is also, when I come to Turkey, everybody shows me this picture, you know. This is Johan Elman, this is why we love you, because you always give 100%. I had so many games, I was injured. Uh, I mean, I was playing a couple of times when I had a high fever and this is for people, I was giving everything for the team and, and that's, I think, that's the reason they like me. We can get together this one with the uh, sixth one. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Ah, mister. Uh, he's special for me. He means a lot to me. Very nice person. Uh, and also as a coach, I like him so much because he's honest. He can give you positive and negative critique and I like that. I think all the players who's there, they have such a big respect for him. Uh, and he gives so much back to the players. Um, tactically, he's very good also. He's the best coach I had. Yeah. <laughs> I was lucky, champion twice when I was here. The first time we become the champion, we had, I think, a big ceremony. A lot of good memories this time, you know, to winning the double and everything, and a good group, good team and everything. And I get so happy to see all the trophies I was winning here. And also, I'm glad to see the, the picture with Mister, you know, when he's lifting it because he's been doing so much for the club. Yes. <laughs> Riera, my friend. <laughs> He was one of the, the friends in the team, we were always talking, him and Nando and yeah, the whole group, we were good. And I think this is uh, after probably he scored the goal, the, I was so happy, always happy for him because he's a, such a good guy. Yeah, this is a special one, the family, so it's very nice. My girls, <laughs> uh, they're growing so quick, so family is everything. And this is something I do back in Sweden now. Um, it's called the, the Perfect World Foundation, where I'm helping out to collect money for animals and for the nature. Uh, something that I do really much is uh, the plastic in the ocean. So 
I go and try to, to collect uh, money so we can save the world. <laughs> and also there's a couple of words which you wrote in Instagram, girl yeah. power. Yeah, girl power also, no, but it, it's, it's right. All the girls in this uh, picture is uh, girl power, I can tell you. <laughs> This is the one, yeah, 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 I talked about it before, you know. Um, I got a red card. I remember this situation because I didn't mean to step on the guy. He was running in front of me and I wanted to go across him and go on this side. And I stepped on his foot, but I didn't do it on purpose. And I didn't really understand why I got the red card, but the referee saw something else and I had to accept it. But I only got suspended for one game. I didn't do it on purpose. Ibra the best football player that we had in, in Sweden. Still going strong, unbelievable, good character, friendly person and that he still keep on going. He's 39, 40, he's 40 now, yeah. He means a lot for the Swedish uh, people and also for, for a national team. So I hope he's gonna come back in the national team and play. Uh, that's just sad also. Uh, that's life, it can change quick. I had um, good memories when he was here, uh, sadly. Uh, he passed away uh, in a ter terrible accident and that's why you should take care of your life because it can change quick. Extra uh, question, you played only two seasons for Galatasaray and uh, what is always kept in mind is 10 years or maybe much more. How do you describe this feeling and what was the key point to gain? I think honestly uh, it is because I always work hard. I was a person always thinking if you have a bad game, you can always give 100% and I think that's what the people liked about me, so um, it might be that. Finally, what would you like to say for the fans and Istanbul? Istanbul, I love Istanbul. I'm always glad to come back to eat the food and to meet the people and everything. So, And for the fans, um, as always, keep on uh, supporting Galatasaray. Young team now, but I believe in them very much. Of course, I believe in Mr. also, here because he's the... He's the top man and I know he's going to do a, a very good job with the group they have now, so um, keep on supporting Galatasaray.